I define unity as like thinking of it as like a puzzle piece. So you have this great picture, but you have all these different little pieces that are kind of scattered. But once you put them all together with their different edges and their curves and the images they have, they create this beautiful picture at the end. And that's how I see unity. We all have these diverse pieces that come together. And once we are together in this community, we can create this beautiful picture um, that exemplifies the best parts of what we bring to the table. Okay. <laughs> you can hug me now. <laughs> it's going viral. You got me on camera. <laughs> Um, I think that Florida State, by having all these different agencies on campus and all these different organizations that kind of represent different communities and they put on different events where they celebrate people from different backgrounds and then like, getting out of your comfort zone and coming to these organizations that you probably wouldn't have come in the first place and just kind of taking that leap and you know just coming out and bringing your friends along to order to get out of the clique that you sometimes belong to and try to be you know, more <laughs> I think once we we can come to that term that you know not everyone's like us uh, I think there will be more of a collective effort to to uh, be inclusive to accept more people for who they are because we understand that they're different and they're not like us I think in an everyday life it's very easy to really internalize the thought that uh, difference is not something that's negative right that we should really um, understand that people are different and that there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Uh, and it should be normalized. We should no accept and not make a big deal when somebody's different or when somebody's presenting a certain way, but make sure that we are accepting them and including them in our spaces so that we feel welcomed and at the same time, a part of the collective. Challenge yourself every day. Put yourself in uncomfortable situations that allow you to learn from others. We've come a long way with diversity and inclusion, but we still have so much more left to go. And I think recognizing that and recognizing what we're doing to contribute to that and how we can make it better. So I don't think unity is um, something that you have to craft, but something that's a place or a space for students to exist in, to feel co-authentic and to feel um, like there's a universal bond between the two people. I think right now students at Florida State are coming up with things and creating forums and spaces for them to have conversations among each other. And so I think um, it's in free speech zones or just in residence hall rooms, creating those spaces for conversations are starting to create unity among campus. To me, it's like a sense of family and in FSU, it's kind of like a home away from home and just having that feeling of, you know, like inclusivity and feeling comfortable with your peers. Florida State has so many different opportunities to explore diversity, to explore different cultures, even just to explore different mindsets. And of course we have our larger institutions, like we have our agencies like the Prize Student Union and Black Student Union. We also have, you know, the Center for Leadership and Social Change and Peace Jam and all these different organizations that really their effort is to show you the diversity we have on campus. But beyond that, we have, you know, over 500 um, registered or recognized student organizations that to give you the opportunity to explore diversity, gives you the opportunity to explore, I don't know, if, you, if you've never played, um, if you've never been LARPing on campus, if you've never been playing like zombie versus humans, you know, it gives you a taste of what someone else enjoys. And you can't be forced to enjoy that or to even participate in that. But, you know, you can be nudged to just, what is it like to live someone else's life? Like, what is it like to have this type of mindset? And in order to understand ourselves better, I think we have to be able to understand the person sitting next to us. Well, I think there's a lot of work yet to be done. I know that people are aware and I'm very excited about the efforts that are being made to bring people together around diversity and inclusion. I think there's an awareness that there are some gaps in our understanding of each other and still issues around uh, racism and um, not accepting people who are different from oneself. So, you know, I'm hoping that uh, some of these efforts that are being made will continue in the direction they seem to be going. But there's still a lot that can be done. And I think the center is playing a key role. I'm very proud of that, that the center is um, at the table and bringing other people to the table. I think part of it is learning how to go outside of our comfort zones. Um, so being open and willing to go into places that we might 
just say feel uncomfortable going into. Um, be able to bridge those gaps between the ideas that we have of people and who they really are. What I love about FSU is that it's a place where everybody can find themselves in whatever way that needs. And there's not a lot of places that have that, so it's really cool that you get to join us as a Seminole Nation and be a part of a campus that um, provides you anything you need and makes makes your FSU experience whatever you want it to be. And it allows you to have that freedom and those opportunities. When the war is won, we will be sure, we will be sure. Oh, glory, 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 oh, glory, glory. So please enjoy it and take advantage of it while you can.